Hey guys, Destiny Gunham, and today we're going to be taking a really cool look at Black Rock Shooter 2035. So, what does 2035 mean? Well, you're gonna find out. So, basically, here is the box, and this box is pretty cool. It's um, the gray box, the rock gray box, but uh, whatever, you know, it's pretty um, recognizable. It says BRS 2035 on the bottom. It's figment number 116, and um, there's side view. Here's the back, which shows off some nice action shots of the figure, and the other side view showing product number and here's the top. So, uh, let's get started. So, first off, uh, let's go ahead and show off the Figma. So, here, is, here she is. Now, she's pretty cool. Um, now, this black, just a little bit of mythology here. So, this Black Rock Shooter is actually not the Black Rock Shooter we know from the TV or the OVA version. This comes from a completely different universe where it's so far into the future that Black Rock Shooter is merely a, a name, like a code name for this girl. Her real name is Stella. Now, this is just from the Wikipedia article, so that's what I read. Her real name is Stella, and her code name is Black Rock Shooter, and like she fights like weird demon things. I don't know if they're demons. I haven't played the game. I don't have like a PSP, so I can't really do that. But um, for fun, I do actually have the art book for Black Rock Shooter, the game, which comes with White Rock Shooter along with the game. So there's that. Um, but yeah, this this is basically the story of um, what happens in the game. So yeah, and there she is, which is pretty cool. And uh, there's all the other characters who have nothing to do with the anime, and there's White Rock Shooter, so um, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Figma. So the Figma is pretty good, it stands about, uh, about a good four to five inches, um, uh, it barely makes it about five and a half inches, so it's pretty normal Figma size. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and do articulation. For articulation, her head, or let's just start at her pigtails actually. Her pigtails are on Figma joints, so they can go up and down. You can rotate 360. Her head is on a Figma joint as well, so it can go up and down pretty well and rotate 360. Her arms are on ball joints and hinge joints at the shoulders, so there's definitely a lot of motion there. One Figma joint at the elbow which is a little bit over 90. There are joints on the hands. They all have a um, joint at the wrist so they can move up and down and they can rotate 360. Torso, there are one, there's one joint right here where the bikini cut is, which is really smooth. You rarely see it. And then there's um, the legs. There's a ball joint in here, a ball joint in here, and a ball joint in here at the hips so she can move up and down. Her thigh can rotate ever so slightly. Um, I wouldn't stress it. Um, her knee can bend over 90 and her foot can go back about that far, up about that far, and rotate side to side. So there is the basic body articulation. Now for the backpack, let me just get this off. Um, the backpack has just two standard Figma joints which just allow it to move up and down. Really any which way that you really want it to go, it can do it. Um, but yeah. So let's go ahead and check it out. It does come with a standard Figma base. It comes with two of them, one for herself and one for the rock cannon. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the details on her. So it's kind of a mix between um, the OVA version and the TV version, in my opinion. It has a, a new jacket, which doesn't have the zipper. Everything's unbuckled, which is pretty nice. Um, there are like little barcodes on her instead of like scars. It's the hoodie jacket, which has which the OVA version has, and then it kind of turns. It's really nice, just how this jacket thing looks. And then, um, yeah, her her boots are brand new, so basically they're high heels with this little flap right here. Um, they're perfectly symmetrical. Um, these back wing parts are totally insane, and they're really nice. They make like little stars right here, and um, yeah, there are also these little fins that come out of the hood, and one of mine are. One of mine is really high and the other one's really low, so I think that just might be a defect, but um and it doesn't seem like they want to be stay on the same side, so yeah. And the hair is really cool because this is basically the same hair as the um what is it? The oh, or the TV version, sorry. And yeah, so without the blue highlights. But there is blue highlighting in her head, which is really nice. And her eyes are much more intense looking. Um they look there's a lot more personality to it as opposed to the Black Rock shooter from TV or the OVA, which doesn't really have much expression, so yeah. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at accessories. So she comes with her black blade. Um, this is the future version. It has that little hilt on top of it. There's some nice weathering along it. And it comes with a special hand for both sides, which is angled so she could hold it better. There's that. And also, um, she does come with the rock cannon. Um, now, this rock cannon is pretty cool because it's basically a smaller version of the OVA rock cannon. So here I have the OVA rock cannon, and here is the regular, or here's the BRS 2035 version. So it's really smaller. It's kind of like an in between between, or is an in between between the OVA and the TV version, which I do actually have with me right now. So um, go ahead and show that off. So um, here is the rock cannon for the TV version, and it's kind of similar. The design is getting kind of closer to it, and um, yeah. But this rock cannon does have some pretty cool features. So it does have this nice bayonet, which has like this jagged end right here and a big end right here, which is very nicely weathered. This whole piece is really nice. It feels like rock because it's kind of it's got this really interesting weathered kind of feel. Um, yeah. So basically, it there's the standard holding hand inside there already, and it just goes right into her hand, like so, if it wants to cooperate. Let me see if I can get it. Sorry. Um, yeah. It it goes in there uh, for. Let me see. Okay, so it's a little bit difficult to get in there if you have the hand in the handle because the joint in there does tend to just kind of flop about. Um, let me see if I can get in there. Okay, so while this is happening, I will just try to take out the hand entirely. So there's the hand, and then they all have those individual joints that I was talking about. And you just go ahead and you peg it into the hand. I think this method is easier. Just take it and then you basically you have to jam the handle into the hand, which is kind of scary. Um, but it's okay because the handle is just no detail whatsoever. Um, and the hand kind of wants to you want to straighten out the thumb a little bit first. The hands are a bit rubbery, so there is some give to them. Um, so there's that. Come on. I see you. Okay, there we go. So there she is with her rock cannon. So there's that. Okay, and then let me just go ahead and grab a stand because I have a lot of these stands lying around and they're basically, um, yeah, I have too much of them. So uh, here is the stand for BRS 2035. There's this nice little cradle. Um, this is mostly used for rock cannon because of the little cradle. So let me just try to pose it. Standard Figma stand with the cradle adjustment. So you just do that. And there you go. So it would do, it would look a little something like that. So yeah, let me just see if I can try to get her in a better pose. So yeah, there's that. Aside from that, she also comes with a standard Figma bag. Inside the Figma bag, there are all sorts of accessories for you to look at. So here is the instruction manual, which was interesting because everything is just really straightforward on this one. Um, it's just like in your face. Uh, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so basically there's that. Here is her alternate hair without her her black eye. Or sorry, her, her blue eye with the fire. Here is her alternate hand rack. So basically she has the angled holding hands, relaxed hands, expressive hands, closed fist, um, open hands without the joint in them. So this hand would be better for the rock cannon. Um, and then here is the alternate opening hand and her closed fist right here. So that's pretty cool, the hand rack. You got plenty of hands, so definitely a lot of stuff you can do with this Figma. So finally, before we go, we're just gonna do some size comparisons. So here she is next to the TV version. So they match pretty well. The cream color on her is a different mix of white, which is interesting, and it's definitely a interesting thing. But um, yeah, it's, it's a lot more like yellowish cream, so there's that. And um, also, since I have her on my desk, here's Chariot next to her, and she is pretty much about the same size as all these girls. Um, now, uh, here she is next to White Rock Shooter, which is her enemy in the game. So there those two are, and they look really cool together because it's kind of the same kind of techno kind of feel, and is also kind of like completely different end of the spectrum is where it's white, and then this is black. It's a pearl white, and this is kind of a glossy black. You know, it's kind of pinkish red, and this one's the light blue, so yeah. 
Now, this is a definitely really cool Figma. Now, um, unfortunately, Black Rock Shooter Figmas are incredibly pricey. So you gotta know where to get them. You gotta you gotta kind of fiddle around on eBay every now and every now and then. Um, I was actually lucky and I got one before this, but then they never shipped it out, and I just ended up getting a refund for that one. But then this one, this guy took a best offer on, so then I got it for real cheap, and I was really surprised. And then I got it really quickly too. So fantastic. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, definitely stay tuned for more Figma-related Figma related reviews and um, Gunpla-related reviews because hopefully I'll get that Barbados cranked out. And, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next review.